Okay. Guys, Zero Eleven here, and today we got some mail. Really big box from James. Yet another thing from James. So, I've had this box for quite a while. I haven't opened it. Been saving it for its own video. Also, it's pretty intimidating how big it is. So, we're finally opening it. And disclaimer, last night I took a peek at it to do some prep, you know, like to get the tape off and stuff and uh, uh wish I filmed my reaction. It was uh, probably on the same level as me pulling the price on guns. No way! Oh my gosh! Yeah, it was pretty much that. We'll get to that in a second, but yeah, James is at it again. And uh, we'll start off with a note. All right, here we go. Hey Ziri, here's my latest package for you. I missed the last few mail vids, but I didn't want to send you one or two cards here and there. So I waited until I had a bunch of stuff. Hence why the big box. I am still collecting Elias, and now I'm after Quinn Hughes as well. Okay, anything I pull Elias or Quinn Hughes is going to James. Then again, I do need one future watch for the 1920 set for Quinn Hughes, whenever that's out. But anything else is James. But yeah, I know you keep saying Makar is the Calder winner, but I think Quinn will get it. Now, Makar's pace did slow. He's had injuries. It's it's close. I would say it's very close between Quinn Hughes and Kale Makar. It's pretty unique to see two like dynamic offensive defensemen in the same rookie crop. That's probably the, the main special thing about the 1920 crop is uh, we got two great young defensemen that are amazing right off the gate. If you pull any Quinn signature swatches or ringside signings, I'll just switch that to any Quinn and don't want them, I will buy them off you. You don't have to buy them, I'll just give them to you. I am always happy to support the channel. And he's also on Patreon, like this guy. You never gave your viewers an update about your expired redemptions. <laughs> Did you have any luck with Upper Deck? You see, the thing about that is, I'm a chicken. <laughs> I'm afraid to contact Upper Deck. And these aren't all of them. I haven't found my fill yet. The Hot Prospects Auto Patch. And for Panini, <laughs> I, I gotta remember my password and stuff on there. For, but for Upper Deck, I'm afraid of these guys. Like, what are they gonna do to me? They're gonna tell me off? They're gonna take me to the parking lot the next time uh, there's a expo? Like, I don't know. They probably hate me. It's fine. Being honest, sorry. I'm not being hard just to be hard. Like, if your product ain't great, I'm gonna say it, but yeah, I mean, then again, I've praised them for a lot of stuff as well, so I don't know what they think of me. So yeah, I'm scared to redeem <laughs> redemptions. That's the update. Okay, in the finished note, anyway, keep up the great videos, and I hope you enjoy what I sent you, James. <laughs> okay, James, let's start off with uh, the loose stuff in the box. Sending me his Grant Fear stuff. Jeez, okay, well, for the Grant Fear, we got a power play. It's like a tall boy card. Netminders of Eddie. Back when he's wearing number 30 there. Ed Belfour, two of eight. Yeah, there's eight of those in the set. There's not eight total, but there you go. There's Ed Belfour. Fleer, 93 Fleer. There you go, Eddie. There's also a Grant Fear one on the Sabres, Grant Fear. So there's that. Uh, not really familiar with these. Anything before 2000, I'm not too familiar with, not gonna lie. Well, there are some things I'm obviously familiar with, but stuff like this, not really. Maybe I should open more of this stuff, but yeah. And then we got another Grant Fear card. We got a, what the heck is this? Support Crime Stoppers. I don't know about that. Post Cereals, Old Dutch. Uh, some sort of promotional thing from a cereal box, I would assume, because it's post and there's like things that look like it's been cut out, but there's Grant Fear. Okay, nice stash on Fear there. And the final card, it's a Beehive, the 506. Yeah, 506 Beehive, big Grant Fear card. I have a lot of these Beehive cards. At least the big ones. I mean, I just got these all sitting around here, but yeah, still got a bunch of them. There's a Selkie. So those are cool. I mean, where the heck do I get those big cases from? But okay, there's that. Oh my gosh. All right, this might be a background fixture. Let's show this now. Look at that. Guess who it is? Aha, we got an Uncle Todd. Heads up. What are these, like mini jerseys from uh, 0304 Heads Up uh, Sweater Edition? Is it 0304 or 203? I don't remember. But either way, Uncle Todd. I was going to get another box to hunt this, but I don't have to anymore. Look at that, Uncle Todd. You like that, Uncle Todd? Look at that. You got your jersey. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> oh, yes. Okay, I don't even know how I'd put that in the back. You know what? All right, well, I'm disrespecting Andy Green and one of the Angry Canes guys, but 
We gotta put Uncle Todd there. I'll figure out something. I've been thinking about changing the whole background in general, getting rid of the boxes, but I don't know what the heck I'd put behind the boxes. And there's that. Let's just adjust that a little bit there. So that's awesome, Uncle Todd, mini jersey. All right, and then James sent like four of these uh, fancy tea tin thingies. They're really heavy. They're well packed. I mean, everything he sent in here was very well packed. Bunch of bubble wrap. Everything's well packed, well put together. Oh, what's this? All right, let's check these out. Oh, we got some of these, uh, what are these, Pogs or, yeah, maybe, I don't know, just cards like that. No, they're not Pogs, they're just cards like that from Kraft. Peanut butter, ooh, Kraft peanut butter. Uh, Mike Vernon uh, and Eddie Belfour. They're double-sided, that's cool. 92, Kraft, okay. Must be like a promotional thing there, but there you go. Vernon and Belfour. Got Jeff Hackett on the San Jose Sharks, early Sharks there. And Kirk McLean. Kirk McLean on the Canucks there. And we got Grant Fuhr again. There's Grant Fuhr on the Leafs there. Brief time on the Leafs there. And Peter Sidorkowitz on the Sands. Like, first year Sands probably right there. Huh. I think, right? Right around then they broke in. Okay, now on to these cards. Let's check them out here. Man, there's a lot of cards. And now they're not in order, but that's okay. Let's check them out here. And these fancy tins are probably pretty good for storage. Okay, let's check out some cards here. All right, first off, we got a Trevor Linden, Parkhurst. Parkhurst, what year is that from? Like, 95, 96, I would assume. Parkhurst, kind of a cool-looking card there. Ooh, got some old black diamond. Diamond Nation, Sergey Fedorov. That's an interesting insert name. That's, uh, like, what, 99, 2000 or 2000, 2001 black diamond? Cool insert there. Got some really old MVP there. Is that the beginning of MVP or a few years? I think it's a few years in, isn't it? 99-2000 MVP, Steve Eiserman. Is that an insert? I don't know, it's just a base, okay. We got some 98-99 Upper Deck, Joe Sackick. We got a uh, no entry, denied, save, blocked. Felix Potvin from Ultra, 95-96 Extra. That's cool. Oh, we got another one, Ed Belfour. Before he we went to the Sharks, I believe. The year after that, or there's Ed Belfour, nice. Oh, we got another uh, Pinnacle, one of these 3D cards. Game Savers, Felix Potvin. Ooh, those are neat. I like those. We got International Influence. Young Matt Sundin there. It's more Parkhurst since 1951. There's Parkhurst, the Swedish flag. It looks like it's on fire there, though. That's kind of an issue. <laughs> okay. Uh, we got Trevor Kidd. There we go, Trevor Kidd. More Parkhurst. Oh, no freaking way. Oh my gosh. It's randomly a Don Cherry sign of the times. Are you kidding? That's 0405 SBA. Bizarre set. Wow. <laughs> Shows him on the Bruins there, even though he didn't play much, did he? He was just an AHL guy. That's all he talked about. <laughs> Coach's corner is him in the AHL and being the coach of the Bruins, but there's Don Cherry. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Auto. No way. 405. I thought about opening 0405. It's kind of weird. You can get like buyback autos from it. But man, personally autographed by Don Cherry. Oh my gosh, that is awesome. I don't have a Cherry auto, so that's sick. It's him on the Bruins there too, so that's amazing. Oh wow, okay, continuing on here. Got a Cujo, some more Ultra. I am opening Ultra, you know what, I'll show you guys. Well, here's a video that's coming up pretty darn soon. Uh, 506 Ultra Retail Box. Can I get a hobby box? But Synovi are available in here and they go for a lot more than what the box costed. So stay tuned for that. There's seven Ultra rookies in that 506 box, but there's Cujo, some Ultra. Then we got some uh, Donruss, Gar Snow. Man, he was a not so great GM, but there's him on the Quebec Nordiques. There's Cujo. There we go, on St. Louis Blues. Top Stadium Club, some early 90s Stadium Club. I've been opening uh, early 2000s, late 90s Stadium Club. I have a box of Stadium Club to open as well. 99, 2000, but there's like 93, 94. There's Eddie. There we go, there's Ed Belfour. Ooh, we got some more Fleer here. This is an interesting card. Kind of reminds me of a portfolio there with the border, but there's Mike Richter. Picks 96, 97. Look at that 90s back of the card. Jeez, the font, the trippy, whatever the heck's going on behind there. Is that supposed to be his mask there? What the heck? It looks so demonic. Oh my gosh, what did they do to Richter there? Okay, well, there's Mike Richter. Man, goalie PC. It's building up, wow. There's Cujo. 
He had a great run with the Oilers back in the 90s there. Right around then, he had an amazing run with them. Unbelievable performances there on Cujo there. There's Ed Belfort. This is a weird card. Oh, it's an all-star card. It shows the all-star game in Montreal, and it shows him in the all-star uniform. So there's that. There's Eddie. <laughs> there he is. And yes, I know that uh, Eddie's had some issues. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Eddie being Eddie. But yeah, we got some score here at Belfort. And we got some Patrick Wah. Stoppers. Brick wall. Oh my gosh, there's so many cards. This is going to take me three hours to open. All right, I got to pick up the pace a little bit here. Cujo, score. Got an OPG. Bill Ranford, man, the goalie collection. Cujo, so many goalies. Deflectors. Patrick Wall, that's a cool answer. That's from Skybox. Nice. I want to find some Skybox. More uh, impact. Skybox deflectors. Kirk McLean. <laughs> we got some tops. Baseball. First pitch, Don Cherry, July 1st, 2015. And yeah, I am a Jays fan. And uh, yeah, those 2015 and 16 teams, I was watching a lot of games. Kind of disappointed that the whole season might be wiped for baseball, which is because uh, their timing is just bad. But geez, there's Don Cherry, tops. Upper deck, power deck, looks like a like a CD. Patrick Waugh, okay. That's kind of cool. Kind of want to put my uh, figure in there. I don't know why. Oh, yeah, that's around 2000 there. What the heck is that from? I don't even know. Bizarre. Can I actually put that in something? Like, there you go. There's Patrick Waugh. Some more Patrick Waugh Gillette series. Okay. We got Trevor Kidd, Canadian Olympic hero. Do I have a drink near me? I always need a drink. But there's Trevor Kidd. More Parkers. Grant Fuhr on the Sabres there. Ooh, that's a throwback card. Uh, ITG, right? Yeah, ITG from like 04, 05. But there's Kirk McLean. I do like that uniform, that Canucks uniform there. More Grant Fuhr stuff. I know James is a big fan of Grant Fuhr, so there's Grant Fuhr. Uh, Jello, Kirk McLean. Okay, this is definitely like a cutout or something. Or is this just a card? That's just a bizarre card if it is. Wow. <laughs> Kirk McLean. There's more Kirk McLean. Pro set. This is a nice looking card for Pro set. Troy Gamble. Must have been a backup to Kirk McLean, right? I would assume. There you go. And uh, Donruss. A lot of writing on there of Trevor Kidd. Goaltenders must develop puck handling abilities. Okay, we're continuing on here. A lot of stuff from the 90s. Okay, at least this tin. Uh, got more Kirk McLean. Top super skills. 96. We got Trevor Kidd of that. We got Kirk McLean uh, hidden gems. That's a cool looking insert. Tops. What set is that? Tops. I gotta find some more Tops hockey. We got uh, Trevor Kidd. Canada upper deck. World Juniors alumni. We got some more Ed Belfort here. Leaf Patrol Eddie. There we go. Same thing here with Kirk McLean Patrol. Ooh, we got some SPX Felix Pot fans. So that's like uh, three SPX or something. A oh, three o four SPX. There you go. That's a nice looking card. There's Peter Forsberg. Collector's choice. There's Peter Forsberg with Quebec Nordiques and more collector's choice. Joe Sakic. Yeah. Okay. All right, final stock of this first 10. We got some Leaf fancy card here from like 97, 98. Donruss? Huh, okay then. I like the look of that card. There's Trevor Kidd, love the gear. Looks like we got a few of those. There's Grant Fuhr. Oh, Uncle Todd, there he is. Oh, they all say Canada on there. I guess it's, they're all Canadians, but there's Uncle Todd. Nice, Uncle Todd. We got Jerome Ginla, premier prospects from SP. Is that 96 SP? Okay. Intriguing stuff there. I think I lost my chance of opening any older SP or even SPA. Like I wanted to open like 97, 98 SP Authentic. I lost my chance. Speaking of SP, I think, right? We got some 94, 95. These were like retros in 1516, but there's Corey Hirsch. And a lot of Canuck stuff in here. You can tell James is a Canucks fan here. <laughs> Felix Potvin, Black Diamond. That's a nice looking card. That's uh, 2000, 2001 Black Diamond. I am opening uh, older Black Diamond, not too old. I won't spoil it here, but it's not super old Black Diamond. But it's the old format, though. I'm opening the old format. We got some Parkhurst. Mario Lemieux. Brent Gretzky. Guy's rookie. <laughs> There's Wayne's younger brother. That didn't amount to much at all. There you go. And Pavel Bure. There's the first 10. Okay.
Pumpkin spice. Okay, next one of these. Let's check it out here. All right. Not too many cards this time. Got some thick cards in there. So let me figure this out. Okay, next one up. There's less cards in here. Looks like we might have oh, some mix between modern and uh, older. First off, we got oh, geez. Nick Suzuki, Canada's Rookies from uh, National Hockey Card Day. I don't think I opened any National Hockey Card Days here. Didn't make it down to any shops. There is a Team Canada canvas. Gary Price, Canadian Tire, right? Yeah, Canadian Tire. It's nice. Okay. We got a UD Canvas 11-12, Gary Price. Is that Series 1 or Series 2? Series 1, 11-12. Can't believe how much 11-12 Series 1 goes for the Hobby Boxes. But yeah, there's a 17-18 UD Canvas, right? Gary Price, Madison Square Garden there. Oh, man. Got a Golden Goalies jersey. Upper Deck Vintage, two-color. That's really nice. Grant Fuhr. Grant Fuhr game used jersey. Nice. UD Vintage. That's a nice set right there. Haven't been able to get my hands on a box, but there you go. Golden Goalies. Awesome. Oh, we got some Pinnacle. Zenith. We got Grant Fuhr, Kirk McLean, Eddie Belfour, Byron Defoe. That's a rookie, I think. Must be a rookie. And Corey Hirsch, rookie. All from Zenith. Those are nice looking cards. Oh, we got even more of those. We got Trevor Kidd. Ah, oh, Uncle Todd. There's Patrick Waugh. First year abs there. That's cool. But we got an Uncle Todd rookie. Look at that. Wow. Uncle Todd. Yeah, there we go. The Islanders looked lost at sea during the early part of 95-96, but Todd's play gave them hope for the future. The 1993 first round draft pick has begun to blossom into an outstanding power forward. Well, I think they were uh, very lost at sea later on because of Mike Milbury made it even worse, but yeah, well, there's Uncle Todd. And continuing on here, we got a Mark Messier on the Canucks, Black Diamond Ruby. That must be late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah, late 90s, um, 97, 98, Black Diamond. I think that's like the second year Black Diamond. Messier, I don't see any numbering. The newer uh, rubies like that are numbered, but there's Double Diamond, Mark Messier. The heck is it? Oh, Metal Universe, these are sick. Jim Carrey, look how crazy this card looks. Yeah, that's nice. Jim Carrey. There you go. Metal Universe. Love these cards. Felix Potvin. Metal Universe. Like, jeez. Wow. These are cool. Very nice. Metal Universe. Felix Potvin. Trevor Kidd. More of a basic one there. It's like a brick wall behind him. Okay. Trevor Kidd. <laughs> then we got Kirk McLean. Not really sure the thought process on that one there, but looks cool. <laughs> and, oh, look at that. Uncle Todd. Bunch of like paint splashed on them there. Geez, Uncle Todd Metal Universe. That's nice, very nice. Uncle Todd, beautiful. And we got some uh, Ultra Gold Medallion. Wow, these gold medallions look way better than what they uh, looked like later on. But wow, Ron Hextall Gold Medallion. That's also mid nineties, right? Ninety five Fleer Ultra. Nice, Ron Hextall. A few of those. We got Cujo. Kirk McLean, Sean Burke on the Hartford Whalers before the Canes there, and Jim Carrey. Wow, these, these gold medallions are really nice. Okay, here are the thick cards. First one up, we got a Marcus Nasland authentic jersey and patch. Number 33 of 50, frozen artifacts. So which one's the patch? I'm assuming, uh, I can't even tell which one the patch is. Guess who has a box of 0809 artifacts? You never thought you'd see me open any old artifacts. But yeah, there's a uh, Nasland jersey and patch. So that's cool. Speaking of Nasland, and this needs a sleeve. But before I put in the sleeve, look at that card. Signature sticks, Nasland. Piece of a wooden stick. And you can see like the empty space there. Huh, but there's Nasland, 8 of 15. Sweet shot. Oh, I missed my chance of getting this stuff too. Ah, uh, 0708 sweet shot. I would have loved to open that stuff. But there's Nasland. That's a beautiful card there. Let me sleeve that up. And the low. Wow, look at this card. We got a Kirk McLean SP game used. I think that's 16, 17. Yeah, 16, 17 SP game used. Ink sweaters. Jersey auto. 4450. That's awesome. <laughs> look at that piece. Ah, oh, Kirk McLean auto. Look at that. Wow. That is amazing. James, wow, we're not even halfway done. All right, T thingy number three, Harney and Sons. <laughs> Let's open it up. Okay, all right, let's take this out here. Looks like we got a 
pretty healthy amount of cards in there. Might be a little problem to take these out. They're kind of really tight in there. And I should add this can definitely does smell like tea. Smells pretty good, not gonna lie. Well, this is a pain to get out. Okay, I got them out. The order is not really intact, but they're out. Okay, let's check this out. Oh, nice. Got a Michael DiPietro. Another Vancouver player, another Vancouver prospect. He should have rookies in 2021. It's kind of hard to say that. It's kind of weird to say 2021. I'm going to get confused, but 34 of 199. Michael DiPietro. There you go. He got lit up the first game he played in the NHL because he wasn't ready. Yeah, there's Michael DiPietro. Okay. Next up, we got a 14-15 canvas. Mark andre Fleury. That Series 2, of course. The stuff I cannot find for the life of me. But there's Mark andre Fleury. That's, that's my most wanted product, is 1415 Series 2. But there's that. Oh, we got some more Canadian Tire, right? Or whatever the heck these are called, I forget. Team Canada Canvas, Jonathan Taze. There you go. Those were cool. All right. Oh, next card. SP Game used significant numbers. 19 of 39. Dan Cloutche. Nice silver jersey and auto. Dan Cloutche. Nice. Cloutche. That must be like, oh, 506? SP game use. If I ever open that, it's gonna be like three to four hundred dollars for a box. I think that's gonna be a lot. But wow, look at that. Dan Cloutier, that's really nice there. Cloutier. Oh, we just got an overtime. Devin Dubin. These are all goalies. Man, the goalie collection. Got some ice. Got Henrik Lundqvist. Uh, eighteen nineteen ice. There we go. Some more ice. There's a green. Sergey Bobrovsky. Oh, we got Maxim Comtois. Sub Zero. Number 834 999, Sub-Zero, Maxime Comtois. Oh, that's pretty cool. We'll do this. Anthony Sorelli, Ice Premieres, 439 to 499. I think that's the level three, yeah, I think. I think there might be a 249 last year. I don't remember, but there you go, Sorelli. He's really good. So there's the Ice Premier him. And then you got Dylan Sakura, also the 499. He's kind of a project for the Blackhawks there, but there's Sakura. More ice. Jeez, there's a good one right there. Mackenzie Blackwood, number two of 499. I do not have his future watch. Here's the list. Uh, yeah, right there, Blackwood. I need 21 more. But yeah, there's what I need right now. I might start chipping away. I don't really feel like buying in these times, but I might. I might get overly bored and start buying, but... Yeah, there's Blackwood. Very nice. He's really solid there. Blackwood, I like Blackwood. Former Barry Colt. Then we got a Cooper Marodi. Ice Premier's jersey. Marodi, there we go. Just a plain old jersey. 1819 ice. Oh, no way. Um, we got Thatcher Demko. Future Watch Gold Spectrum. Now, I don't collect the Spectrum Future Watches, but somebody had to complete a bounty to get this. It's number 36 of 50. And funny enough, when I got my Demco Future Watch Auto, it came with the regular Spectrum. I bought both of them for 15 bucks back when that was uh, a fairly new product in 2017 there. But there's a gold Spectrum. Somebody had to uh, do the whole UD bounty to get this. It's only number to 50. So that's cool. Is that your Demco? I do like Demco. Ah, oh, we got some Upper Deck Masterpieces. Grant Fuhr Canvas Clippings. 0809 Masterpieces. Game use piece there, Grant Fuhr. Wow. Those cards, they're all real canvassy. They're all real nice. Oh, you need to get a box. Oh, we got a, what the heck? Is, OPG Platinum. Preview, big, pre oh, uh, what is this from? 1920 OPG Platinum. I'm confused. Where the heck is this from? Must be like a, I think it's an Easter egg from something. I forget, but dang, look at that rainbow. Platinum should be out. I got a box pre-ordered. I don't have a shop to go to, so it's going to be a little delayed for releases for me if they actually do come out. But there's Matthew's preview, so that's a nice card there. Looks like we got a Grant Fuhr, Hockey Heroes, Nick Suzuki. There's Quinn, Hockey Heroes. He's giving me a Quinn. Okay. Oh, okay, here we go. We got a Sub-Zero Auto, Robert Thomas. Robert Thomas, he looks really good. Robert Thomas, former Hamilton Bulldog. OHL. But yeah, Robert Thomas, he looks really solid. I... Do have his future watch, I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have his future watch. But yeah, there's Robert Thomas. Auto. That's really nice. Oh, we got a wing materials from old SPX. Is that the Heart Trophy season for Jose Theodore there? Is that 0102? Might be. Actually, I think it is. That's sick if it is. Winning materials. Jose Theodore. We got a game use jersey and a game use stick. Very cool. Number 67 and 99. Thought about opening some older SPX. It's a lot different than current SPX. You get a lot of packs. <laughs> But there's that. And some more 
stuff from ice we got some exquisite collection rookie auto jordan greenway greenway is one of the ones i don't have for the future watch so that's nice we got 31 of 199 greenway solid he's a big guy could be a decent power forward for the wild there there you go jordan greenway tearing on here we got some uh grant fuhrer 25th anniversary card what the heck is that from this says 25th anniversary huh it must be a promotional thing we got a genealogic tough times auto is that 1011 Pinnacle? Did I just open that? I'm pretty sure I just opened that. I think that's 1011 Pinnacle. Might be 1112, but 142.99. Geno Ogic, Tough Times, On Card Auto. I think that's a year after, but Ron Hextall, the one I got there, will look similar to that. Those are really nice. I hope I can actually get the Hextall when I figure out the password for the Panini site. But yeah, there's that. That's really nice. Oh, we got a Bill Ranford score. Uh, Artist Proof, 95.96. Artist proof. I don't know what the heck that says right there. Does that say black ice? I think it does. Artist proof black ice from score. I thought about opening score, but I think people get confused if I open old score. They'll probably think it's really bad when it's not. But there's that. At least like the mid to late 90s stuff. Uh, I got Richard Broder, OPG. That's uh, 88 OPG, 87, 88 OPG. There's Jim Benning, current GM of the Canucks. There's him as a player. Ugh. There's Jim Benning, huh? There you go. Played for the Leafs quite a bit there, too. Hmm. Ron Tugna. There's 89.90 OPG. There you go. And uh, no name on there, but we got Ray Bork and, uh, geez, who's that in front? Number 19 on the Canucks there, I should know. No, it doesn't say. Huh. Well, there's a bunch of things there. Hmm. Okay. Vancouver Canucks card. Doing on here, I got Steve Weeks, 89.90 OPG. We got the Maple Leafs, same deal there. There's a Mike Vernon, got some older stuff here. That's uh, 88.89 OPG there. I like really like this design here on that. There's Mike Liu, there we go, on the Whalers. Look at that gear, geez. Rick St. Croix, I don't know that guy, I'll be honest. There's John Garrett. He's a, what is it, color guy for the Canucks now, John Garrett, and John Shorthouse is the other guy. So there's John Garrett. There's Bill Ranford. Kraft Dinner. Not gonna lie, I like live off of mac and cheese, but there's Kraft Dinner, okay? Oh, Pat Quinn. That's an old card right there. That's 70s, Pat Quinn, rest in peace. There you go. There you go, Pat Quinn, Vancouver. That's really old. That's like 71, 72. That's awesome. Quinn, he was on the Canucks there. He coached Vancouver. He coached a bunch of teams. I think his last team he coached was, what, the Oilers? But when he was a Leafs coach, he's probably my favorite Leafs coach of all time. Pat Quinn, just awesome. So there's that. And we got a couple more cards here. We got a Crystal. Carey Price at 1415, I would assume. Yeah, 1415 Upper Deck Trilogy. Crystal, those are cool. <laughs> and the final card. Got some Ultimate. Is that 1415 Ultimate? 1314 Ultimate. Ultimate Duels. Carey Price and P.K. Subban. One of the P.K. pieces is only one color, but still, that's really nice there. P.K. Carey Price. But yeah, there you go. There's Price and Subban. Okay, final one. Okay, I got that one out with not much trouble. Okay, let's check them out. All right, we got more playing cards. I gotta check which ones I have, but I've put them all together. I got, like, probably, like, ten of them or more now. But we got Mira Haskinen, two of diamonds. I gotta remember these now, uh... That's a spade, right? King Spade, Nathan McKinnon. King of Hearts, Patrick Kane. Got some showcase, just open this stuff. There's Jonathan Bernier, right, is that? That's 1415. I gotta find a box of 1415. There's Jonathan Bernier. There's some 0607 OPG, I think. Hall Worthy, Eddie Belfour. Definitely, he's in the hall. There is a nice old Ed Belfort card. I remember that's 0203. He uh, alternated his stuff when he played. Like, that's a road game back then. They wore the darks on the road back then. He'd wear the dark pads and the dark mask. But when he was at home, when they were wearing the white gear, he'd wear the white pads and the, the silver mask. I thought that was cool. But there's Eddie Belfour. Um, you got Jose Theodore, another old OPG. Prospects, Andrew Raycroft. Uh, uh, you got Jake Vertanen. What is this, that subway thing? Yeah, it's a subway card of Jake Vertanen from 1819. Oh, I got a future watch. Spencer Fu. Now, interestingly enough, I actually just picked up a Fu Future Watch. I actually have it right here. I bought it, but I bought an inscribed Fu. So, hey, always love the Future Watches. Um, Fu's in the KHL, the Chinese KHL team. So there's that. I mean, while I'm at it, 
Also got an Evan Bouchard as well. High pick, offensive defenseman. He's pretty hyped up, but um, I, I don't know if I want to buy into it too much. But yeah, he looks like a decent offensive defenseman. But yeah, there you go. Spencer Fu is one I needed up until about a week ago. But yeah, I'll gladly take that one. Uh, we got an acetate Carter Hart. Look at that. 1920. Look at that. That's awesome. Carter Hart clear cut. That's not acetate. It's clear cut. Well, it's both, but whatever. It's just it's called clear cut. But yeah, there you go. Carter Hart. That's awesome. Got some Crown Royal 2000. Look at this card. I got to find a box of this. Captain is a big C. What? It's bizarre. It's upside down. Oh, well, is Mark Messier. There you go. From like 2000 Crown Royal. Huh. That's interesting. We got some Bowman, Grant Fuhrer. There you go, that's uh, like mid-90s as well. It's Byron Defoe, Ed Belfour, and nothing. Did I mess up something? Hopefully not. Okay, continuing on here. Oh, man, is that a rookie? Yeah, I think it's a rookie. Uncle Todd from Bowman. Look at that. Former Guelph Storm. His son played for Guelph. Got traded. Yeah, look at that. Uncle Todd. Fisherman uniform there. That's nice. There's Corey Hirsch. Bowman. Got a lot of Bowman in here. Patrick Waugh, I think that's first year abs again. There's Wayne Gretzky on the St. Louis Blues. That's interesting. Got some Pinnacle. Felix Pavin. Great picture there. Uh, you got Troy Gamble. Pro set. Oh, no way. Look at this card. UD Retrospectives. Uncle Todd. It's like a mini card. 41 and 99. What the heck is this from? It's from like 2003. Whatever it is. I don't know what that's from. If anybody knows what that's from. It's like a painting card, but it's mini. That's really cool of Uncle Todd there. There's Grant Fuhr again on the flames. Grant Fuhr. Oh, no way. We got a Grant Fuhr auto. Look at that. That's uh, the Be a Player. 96. I think I have an Ed Belfer from that year, so that goes well with it. There you go. Grant Fuhr. Oh, geez. And a Kirk McLean. Wow, look at that. Kirk McLean. Nice. Be a Player auto. Okay, looks like we got a Paul Correa. Classic 93 top 10. Shows him on Canada there. He's freaking out. <laughs> there you go. Paul Correa. We got a man on Rayom card. Of course, that was the first woman to ever play professionally. It was an exhibition game she played in for the Tampa Bay Lightning. But there's men on Rayom, Canada. There you go. So that's a cool card right there. That's a few years after it happened. I think it happened in the early 90s, didn't it? That's like 94, huh? There's that. There is Byron Defoe on the Baltimore Skipjacks. Baltimore Skipjacks. Okay, is that an East Coast League team or an AHL? Oh, it's an AHL team, I think, but it looks just like the Capitals there. Huh, it's interesting. All right, we got Keith Gretzky, one of 6,000 gold on the, what is that, Gulls? San, is that the San Diego Gulls? They're now an AHL team. Oh, we got an Uncle Todd. Really young picture of Uncle Todd there. <laughs> Look at that. Is that a Mohawk on Uncle Todd there? Yeah, there's a young Uncle Todd. <laughs> there we go. There's Don Cherry from Pinnacle. Oh, man, this stuff. Oh, I love this stuff. There's Richard Brodeur. That is a Vashon card. Get your Joe Louis and what else do they make? I forget. <laughs> but yeah, there's Richard Brodeur. That's old looks like it's from the 80s i would assume just talking about 82 83 there oh it's french here english here huh that's very interesting there those were ugly uniforms on vancouver there okay these are not ugly uniforms there's a uh, boomers <laughs> pavel Bure. okay uh i don't think that would fly nowadays be more of a meme card if that were nowadays I guess they're talking about a shot, obviously. I know they're talking about a shot. He's not an actual boomer, baby boomer. But yeah, there you go. You got a uh, stacking the pads, Cujo. Pinnacle, that's an awesome looking card there, Cujo. And I got to open some more Pinnacle. There's a big write-up on Cujo there. That's 98 Pinnacle. Might be 97, 98 or 98, 99. I think it's 97, 98 because Cujo came on the Leafs in 98, 99, I believe. Or 1998, he came on the Leafs, so that must be 97, 98. There's Dominic Kashuk. 95, 96 select. Some other stuff I want to get. Removable thingy. What does that say? Removable protective film. Dominic Cash, that's awesome. Got a masks. Grant Fuhr masks. That's a really cool mask there. Wow. Grant Fuhr pinnacle. The wall. I don't know who that is. Is that even a NHL goalie? It looks like the Houston Arrows logo there with the plane and stuff. 
Don't even know who that is. It's Troy Gamble. Uh, Houston Arrows, yeah. Okay, there's Troy Gamble. Oh, got some OPG minis here. We got Pete Peters, Mike Vernon, John Van Beesbrook, Patrick Waugh, Ron Extall. Man, so many. Just goalie overload. Love it. <laughs> okay, then we got a Patrick Waugh, another mini. Mike Liut, mini. We got Kraft. Oh, geez. A lot of cards here. Kraft Sports, Mark Messier. What the heck is this? Collector's Choice Stickums. They brought these back in like the late 2000s when they brought Collector's Choice back. But Stickums, Daniel and Henrik. And uh, Henrik spelt kind of weird. There's no K. But yeah, Daniel and Henrik Stickums. You got little moto stickers on there and their names and their entire selves. <laughs> That's really cool right there, Daniel and Henrik. We got a little tiny Kirk McLean card. Very tiny. Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> okay then. All this promotional stuff, very fascinating stuff there. Humpty Dumpty, Kirk McLean. James, he's got a lot of McLean and Fuhr stuff. Man, there's another one of those. Humpty Dumpty's, Granite Fuhr. There you go. Oh, another playing card, Rasmus Dahlin. Uh, Patrick Waugh. And we got something I gotta open. We got uh, Basil McRae versus Gino Ajik. Bloody Battles, Enforcers. I gotta open some ITG Enforcers, don't I? But there you go. Sweet. And that's not all. Now to the final part. Where James sent sealed boxes. I can't believe these. Oh my gosh. First box. And these will have their own videos. We got 9798 Pinnacle Beehive with 5x7 portraits. Four 5x7 cards per pack. 18 packs per box. So expect a video on that fairly soon there. Pinnacle Beehive. Oh my gosh. James, geez. Uh, next box. Got a hobby box of 1617 Leaf Mast Men. I think it's 1617. Never opened any of this. I've only opened one Leaf product. I think it was metal, 1516. But you get three metal mask cards plus three premium insert card per box. So we could get some like big pad pieces, stick pieces. I think just a really intriguing set there. James, geez. I don't know. I don't know what to say. And the final box. I was actually stunned to see this, and I still am questioning its legitimacy. I'm like, is this real? Is this actually a sealed box of this? <sighs> we got a <laughs> 10 of 16, 17 UD Premier. Uh, yeah. Huh. I've never opened 1617 Premiere. Oh my gosh, it's one of the greatest crops ever. So expect a video on that soon. And uh, and yeah, James, anything you see I pull in here, if you want, it's yours. I can't believe you sent this. Like, oh my God, I don't even know what to say. <sighs> so yeah, guys, there's a mail video. James, you're freaking crazy <laughs> in the best way possible. Unbelievable. I'm just kind of in shock right now. Once again, thank you so much. Unbelievable. Really do appreciate it. This is something I've been wanting to open to. 1617 Premiere. Man, that's a sealed box. Jeez. So stay tuned for a video on that. I'll probably do this one pretty soon. This is probably the one you guys want to see most. So yeah, guys, there is another mail video. I'm in disbelief. Like, I don't believe this. Like, this is actually crazy. Like, unbelievable. I just, oh my gosh. Yeah, probably gonna hunt Elias and uh, Quinn Hughes on his behalf soon here too, so. I don't have any Elias or Quinn right now. I just have the future watch of Elias for the set. If I get another one, I'll send it, but I'm pretty much retired opening that. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, man, give James a big thanks in the comments. Wow, because he's gonna be providing four videos and he sent all this amazing stuff, so. Yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys.